Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Joanne Timbuang. Party President Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak says AMNO must be willing to change for the better to strengthen party unity, culture and the attitude of its members. The party does not expect resistance from members on the proposed amendments to its constitution and these amendments are necessary to curb money politics or vote buying within the party. He said this at a press conference ahead of the AMNO General Assembly on Tuesday. The AMNO Supreme Council will finalise the number of proposed amendments that will be tabled at the party's General Assembly on Thursday. The proposed amendments will be submitted for endorsement at the party's Supreme Council meeting on Wednesday. Meanwhile, AMNO um, Constitutional Amendment Committee Chairman Dato Sri Hishamuddin Tun Hussein says the proposed amendments would include increasing the number of delegates who could vote, scraping the quota system and relaxing the conditions to contest top posts. He says holding elections simultaneously with delegate meetings and strengthening the Wanita Youth and Putri Wings were some of the other recommendations. Malaysia Today editor Raja Petra Raja Kamarudin, who is being sued by two army lieutenant colonels for def defamation, maintained that his statutory declaration was made in good faith and without malice. The former Internal Security Act detainee said that among the statement of facts that were were that Altantuya Sharibu was murdered on October 19, 2006 and three other persons were present at the crime scene. On Tuesday, High Court Deputy Registrar Nor Hatini Abdul Hamid met Raja Petra's lawyer Jay Chandra and defending counsel Sugandra Rao for case management. She said February 11th next year for mention, pending the party's preparation of documents for the matter. The Health Ministry is spending 14 million ringgit to purchase 400,000 doses of influenza A H1N1 vaccine. Health Minister Datuk Sri Liao Tiong Lai says the first batch of 40,000 doses will arrive by the end of this month. Speaking to reporters after opening GlaxoSmithKline's global IT centre, he says the ministry has decided to purchase the vaccine from GSK as the company would meet the earliest delivery time. The ministry had yet to fix the selling price per dose for the vaccine. Liao stressed that the public must take precautionary measures although H1N1 cases were on the decline and no deaths had been reported since September 16. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Joanne Timbong. Thanks for watching.